Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're talking about the demonstrative uh, pronoun slash adjective. And last time we talked about Hikai Coke, and this time we're talking about Ile, Ila, Ilud. Okay. So, like Hikai Coke, ille, ila, ilud, it can be a pronoun or an adjective. So, as a pronoun, uh, it means he, she, or it, just like all of the demonstratives do. So, ille would be he, the masculine, ila, she, the feminine, and ilud, it, the neuter. And as an adjective, uh, ille, ila, ilud, means that in the singular and those in the plural. Okay, so hik 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 means this in the singular and these in the plural. Ile ila ilud that in the singular and those in the plural. So we're gonna set up a chart and decline ile in the singular and plural and then we'll do some examples. Okay, so I'm gonna set up my five principal cases. You might ask, why am I not putting in the vocative? Uh, and that's because the vocative is the same as the nominative, right? Remember, unless it's second declension US or IUS. Okay, so masculine, feminine, and neuter. And in the singular, uh, ille, illa, illud. Okay, remember that D is there, not an M. That's a little unusual. Genitive is. Ilius, 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 just like with um, Hikai Koku, it was Huius, so it had an I-U-S, that's very common in pronouns. And then the data singular, Ili, 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 like a third declension data singular, that's very common in pronouns to have I-U-S in gender singular and I in data singular. It's actually called the pronoun declension, so we'll see that in a lot of pronouns that we learn. Accusative, ilum, ilam, and then for neuter, of course, ilud, because it has to be the same as nominative. And then ablative, ilo, ila, ilo. Okay, so ila, ila, ilud. Ilias, 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 Ili, 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 Ilum, Ilam, Ilud, and Ilo, Ila, Ilo. Those are the singular forms. Okay, now the plural forms. Okay, so in the plural we have Ili, Ili, Ila, Ilorum, Ilorum, Ilorum. Okay, in the dative, Ilis. Elise, Elise, in the accusative, Elos, Elas, and Ela, and in the ablative, Elise, Elise, and Elise. So it looks exactly like a first and second declension adjective in the plural, right? E, I, A. Orm, 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 is, 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 os, as, a, is, is, is. Okay, let's talk about translating ille. So as a pronoun, of course, it's going to be just like hikai ko. So uh, I'll use the same examples from the last lecture. So, and so we could say ille ambulat, right? And that would be he is 
walking. Okay, so just like we said hic ambulat, we can say ille ambulat, and it really means the same thing. Now literally, you could take these as substantives and say ille, that man is walking, or hic, this man is walking. Uh, but you can just also use the simple English pronoun he. Okay, and then uh, illa ambulat, they would be she is walking. Uh, and so now we use the feminine and uh, just use the pronoun she. Okay, so these are how ila ila uh, is used as a pronoun. Okay, and then as an adjective, um, it means that or those. So, ile weir would mean that man. Ila femina that woman. And ilud uh, templum would be that temple. Okay, and it works the same in the plural. So, uh, ili homines would be those men. Uh, ili filii be those daughters. And Ila Animalia would be those animals. And of course we could put this into any case. So I'll give you a couple I've used all nominative examples, but with Hikai Coke and Ilayala Ilud, you can put them into any case. So let's do a couple of examples of of those. So I'll give you a genitive example. So Ilius Weary would be of that man. Um Ili Femini would be two or four that woman. Um, if I said cum uh, illis uh, fratribus, that would be with those brothers an ablative of accompaniment. Uh, and so you can take ile or hic and you can put it into any case uh, and the, the translations for each case remain the same and you can use it as a pronoun or as an adjective. Okay, and thanks for tuning in everybody and see you next time.